Greetings, my fellow unethical doctors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo. Episode 6, Fertility Mistreatment. I guess I'll get one more core out of them and then do no more cores after that. I'll be satisfied with three cores for uh, standard mix. And he's down. He's not a nudist, he just fell from the sky and was destined to die. You know how it is. Max, what are you working on? Soul Wayne, you're 95% charged. I think you can start moving. My gene banks are now full, so I'm going to have to start another gene bank. Wait, who just picked up the steel? Oh, no, there it is. No, don't enter it. Oh, I stopped you in time. Mama Set's dead. I'll have to grab them so that the wolf doesn't eat them. I will start on shelving soon. I've just been waiting on the process because it's not like I have a lack of space. So, Von Doom. Oh, no, I meant to do that. Insert Von Doom. When do we build Wendigos? Later on in the... When we have more provisions, more technology, more etc, etc, etc. I consider that question a are we there yet kind of question. Am I wrong? And the gene rip is open, so who can we kill gene ripped? We can kill Goa. And then Sky needs to go through first gene rip. We're starting to get a little bit of a gene bang going. And I am out of bugs to feed them. I think I have, what, two more bugs? Another thing that I could do is feed raw meat, too. Can I use genes on Wendigo? Uh, read the details. I'm pretty sure you were here for the start of the stream, so you're asking a question that you have the answer to. Which is definitely lazy. I called you out. That's right. Suppose I can explain it one more time. Xenogenes that we get from a gene extractor are not part of the Wendigo process. Germline genes are the Wendigo process. Xenogenes are just for sale. They're an economy thing. We make money this way. It's the new organ harvesting. It's just organ harvesting plus. I guess is you could consider it. So the win condition of this series um, does not consider xenogenes at all. Xenogenes and germline genes are different. Xenogenes are inheritable. And germline genes... I mean, xenogenes are not inheritable. They're overwritable. And xenogenes are inheritable. And we're trying to make an inheritable Wendigo. One that can start a new species. You don't start a new species with... Uh, with... Um, germline gene, or xenogenes, because xenogenes are temporary and overwritten and not passed down. I'll feed them all once more. I want to try to get them killed before uh, I have to feed them more bug because I'm kind of running low on bug. How, do, how can you actually influence germline genes? Just by selecting breeding pairs. Google Darwin. Or selective breeding. Google how to selective breed. It's, 
uh, like 10th grade biology. So if you haven't gone through 10th grade biology, essentially you take two people that have inheritable genes that you want to pass on and then you let those two people breed, or in my case, fertilize an embryo, inspect the embryo for their genes, and then if it's something I do want to cultivate in a growth vat lab, I allow it. If not, I don't. And cannibal is not a trait, a genetic trait. Just read, read, read the link. <laughs> I've gone over this. Okay. Heat tolerant slow runner. Uh, that frees that up. French will die if going through, so let's kill French. And then Von Doom will die as well when he goes through. Sky is the oldest here. And I actually might keep Sky alive. Wasters are particularly good, especially female wasters. Actually, I don't know if I can extract the eggs out of a 48 year old. I guess I have to answer that question sooner or later. But wasters have good starter genes for uh, what I'm looking to do. Um, the slave girl will not get better at crafting by cutting stone. All of the stone is for workshop, flooring, etc. He heat insulation, defenses, but it's not skill building. So you are going to be on perishable... I'm going to actually change it so it's perishable non-cannibal. That way I could specify... Because I think I want to keep Sky alive to see if I can extract eggs for uh, genetic engineering. The farm's done. I'm excited about that. That's real good. Turn off all the rip scanners. And I've made no progress in geothermal. But I haven't really needed it with the solar and the wind that I have. Solar and wind together uh, are pretty reliable. Let's go fetch Mr. Mamoset before the wolf eats. Oh, wow, the wolf hasn't eaten him at all. I wonder what that wolf is eating, because it sure ain't that dude. Hey, we have a uh, comet supplier. That means I can sell all the jeans I've been ripping. Um, someone else, else haul that guy. I have a comet supplier to trade with. So this is why I've been ripping jeans, so I can go make my money. See, I'm just working diligently on the Human Genome Project. I, that's the humanitarian to me, trying to figure out... Oh, I guess Compass of Black... No, no, here they are. Yoink, 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 yoink. Ooh, great shooter in a gene with center horn. Oh, you're a gunner thrombo. That's cute. Um, yeah, see? It made me money. So, that's what I'm, that's what I'm after. I'll even buy their components. That's how generous I'm feeling. See? Genes. Genes are good. The Wendigo Genome Project? Exactly. You got it. You understand. French, I don't think you're surviving this, right? No, you're dead. So Von Doom, you're next. And you will also die from the process.
Ooh, information about the glitter wand. Nice. So, starting to do some better firebreak walls that are more ruggedized and ready. Hey! Here's someone from the Glitter One Empire that is not naked and has a chance to make it out of the map. But literally right as I delete the uh, the rescue bed. God. Chances of that. And you're just a baseliner? I'm trying to build up rep with them. Um... I mostly want the honor, but I'll take free rip, too. Because the value of a baseliner to me is pretty low. Because I, I don't need the meat right now. I have uh, lots of corpses. Oh, is he a medical... Is he going to make it through? 81%? Ah, oh, he'll be fine. Well, okay, he won't be fine. He'll be corpse. But I uh, will get the scan in time. Is, I guess, what I mean to say. Alright, Zilla. Time for you to train your medicine. Is there a reason to delete the beds, or is it preference? If I delete all but one bed, it becomes a prison cell, which is slightly less of a morale problem for Sky. But the difference between five beds or two beds is nothing. The difference between two beds and one bed is actually significant. Because it goes from prison barracks to prison cell, so it's less penalizing mood-wise. Alright, you are going to be researching. Finally. I know. Despite the fan- oh, Mad Arctic Wolf. Alright, fine. I'll eat some wolf meat. You sure are going the lazy way. Could you come to me? Oh god, this wolf is dumb. Oh yeah, the prison spot is taken. There she goes. Good observation. Von Doom technically has not died yet. Let's go deal with this wolf before it's just annoying forever. Oh my lord, wolf. Just commit to the... Oh, the doors are closed. That's my bad. Thought the doors were open. There is an open door and it's just not taking it. So we have got 2,000 steel to be hauled. Um, I don't think... Kish, do you have... Where, where are you? You don't have tasks right now, so I can have you continue to improve the walls. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is build new slate walls that are better than the old ones. Then with the slate doors on the outside, with a line of sight breaker and an airlock. No roof. And I'll do the same over here.
There we go. And the idea is that eventually you have an entire stone perimeter so that raiders can't set it on fire whenever they're raiding. Which is annoying. Then I'm going to start hauling the uh, stone chunks out that are around here so as to not offer cover to enemies. And eventually I'll mine away this mountain, provided it doesn't have overhead mountain, which, as far as I can tell, it doesn't. All right, we are, hmm, I don't know, fourth of the way into Geo. It's not a lot of progress, but I keep getting sidetracked, but it's some progress. So Vaughn's dead. Let's put Sky through. Zella, that's kind of your task. That's not my task. I'm also technically sharing a barracks with Artibus, so I might want to commit to a proper bedroom for Wendy eventually. She's not complaining. She's been getting to kill a lot of people. Oh, also, uh, where is Von Dorn? So the next humanoid that we butcher is going to be him, because I don't want his stupid little portrait up there forever. It's going to be annoying. Because he was technically a colonist until I, you know, murdered him. And I probably should have stripped him first. But looking at his clothing, it wasn't a waste because he it was all tattered. So I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, let's butcher that annoying corpse. Don't need to look at that forever. I suppose something else I could do is to go into the stockpile and say peril, do not allow tinted peril. So we just leave the tinted peril out there until I either smelt it or it rots and gets destroyed because I, I couldn't care less. So standard bot zone does include all of this marble. We just haven't bothered to haul it in yet because we're busy with other things. How's the cannibalism going? Cannibalism business is booming. All right, back here, let's switch these crops up to heal root. One of the things is we're going to need a lot of um, wood and medicine. Wood for when we're royal and we have braziers to keep lit, so it's a dignified throne room. And medicine so that we can do medical experiments on our prisoners. So heal root is going to be, and, and fiber corn are going to be relatively important crops for us to, to farm for. Hey, you're not allowed in there anymore. Well, what gives? Oh, th that's the back half. Let me fix this. I very crudely painted this. I don't want my hauler bot in there because it's just not worth having him haul from the farm because it's not important for uh, for that robot to uh, to do that kind of work. So find something better to haul. That's what I'm trying to say. Did some die? Uh, I did have to save scum once due to tactical errors, but then I uh, I fought the same exact fight again with passive flying colors, which was good. Really? A stone chunk right in front of where my like shooters are going to be? That's annoying. That's just wrong. Tactical fog, yeah, exactly. You know what I could do? Orange Chaos. I'm gonna have you work, and you are gonna figure out... Uh, you're gonna dig around here to see if there's overhead mountain. Just don't get crushed. Actually, where are you? Okay, yeah, you're moving to it. Cool. So here's the waster jeans. We got awful animals. Really? That's the best you could do? 
But I'm actually going to let this... Oh, really? That's not your food. Excusez-moi. Actually, you wouldn't even want that food. You're not a cannibal. What are you even doing? That has human meat. I'll feed you, but like... I'll feed you food that you're actually going to enjoy. Dummy. Woke me up from my nap. Eating the wrong thing. Orange. Let's fix your zoning. And I just have to quickly look for Overhead Mountain because he it mines so quickly that I'm going to get crushed before I realize that uh, there's an issue, you know? There's only a few spots in here that it could be a problem. So I'll just be working around that. Oh, so far, so good. No overhead mountain. Perfect. So changing for the western slate wall. I'll smooth these out eventually. Getting plenty of slate. Geothermal is, uh... Well, what do I do after geothermal? Smithing, Toxifier Generator. I'm going to take Toxifier Generator off. I think if you were going to vote on it, you would have voted on it by now. So, Smithing, Fertility, Procedures, Psychic Brewing, Beer Brewing, Drug Production, uh, Shields, or TV. Shields is, I suppose. I'm surprised uh, Machining isn't a prerequisite of Shields, but whatever. Because you can't make Shields without a Machining Table. Let's see. Kill someone with it. Alright, you're done. Go dormant. Oh, actually, you're not done. My mistake. Get rid of this boulder. I don't want any line of sight blockers for cover when enemies come in. Because if I end up making uh, pikemen, you know, pikemen can shoot at maximum range, so removing any cover out there is an advantage to a pikeman. And that whole thing is gone already. Okay. I do have a little bit of wood for a deep water shooting spot. Um, yeah, maybe I maybe I spend it. It's not that much wood, and it would be a huge benefit. For deep water shooting. That way I could kill things like Thrumbo without having to worry. It is a huge flammability vulnerability. Uh, but I'm... I think it's it's worth it. But anytime I get a bulk goods trader, either orbital or uh, caravan, I'm gonna have to make sure to buy more wood because wood is wood's pretty cheap. So pretty much any opportunity for me to buy uh, mass oodles amount of wood, I should take. Just because I'm gonna need a lot of wood, and there's almost no such thing as wood growing on uh, ice sheet, unless you, yeah, it's near impossible. I mean, unless you make a lot of fiber corn farms or something like that. All right, one more minute to vote. I'm going to have a beer. Yeah, West Wall is coming together. And then we'll just replace the... the North 
and east and, and south. Just. <laughs> Making Harvard's bonsai trees. Fibercorn, well, because I have ideology installed, Fibercorn is, is better than that. All right, Zilla, that's probably enough cutting for now, so I'm going to have you be a hauler and hope that you don't have to wander too far because uh, you've got a peg leg, so it's kind of a death sentence if you go wander around to the expanse, the cold expanse. Artemis, you've overstayed your welcome. Could you just leave? You're barely bruised, dude. All right, so smithing it is. And I am uh, so very close. So when I get... When I get geothermal, uh, I'll make this geothermal first, because obviously it is uh, way more convenient for me to make this one than this one. I'd have to relocate a prisoner for that. But probably one generator is enough power for me for now. I don't have that high of a need. So the reason why Fibercorn would need uh, hydroponics is just because out here there's not... If we take a look at the fertility data of this map, there's almost no spots that are viable for like a good grow spot. And it's also too cold. There's no grow season. So fertility aside, it's really just that... Um, that there's never going to be a seasonal temperature. So you'd have to wall it up and you'd have to... You'd have to solar uh, sun lamp it. And if you're already sun lamping, the cost of a uh, the cost of a hydroponic basin is probably not that prohibitive. It's not. It's a drop in the bucket when you're got a sun lamp, you know. So as long as you have steel, ooh, I got uh, I got some exit healthy. That's right. So as long as steel is not a huge determining factor, I think it's pretty reasonable to. Uh, to just grow it on hydroponics. But it, it really depends on your terrain layout and setup. All right, I guess going for the geothermal. Geothermal is a pretty considerable amount of my steel that is available, but uh, I see value in the uh, project. It does have terrible uh, fertility sensitivity. You're not wrong about that. A slave ship. Come on, good slaves. Contract miner. Nope. Mailman. Nope. Jet. Definitely not. Maugu. Ugh. Nope. Don't want any of the slaves. That's too bad. I'm going to keep my slave. I'm just going to sell them my genetics that I have. And... That's it. Yeah. Oh, they have components. I'll buy components. Never hurts to have more. Royal Tribute Collector. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, slaves that I'm willing to give up for honor. I want to keep Sky for now. Although they're uh, psychoid deficient right now. Let me uh, operate and minister Wake Up to keep them alive. They're going to need uh, periodic drugs. Well, no, I'll let them go into a coma. I take that back. I don't, I don't mind them being in a coma. It makes them more subservient. Could I buy a slave right now and tribute them away? I could, but it's horribly uneconomic, given that every raid is a is a is a opportunity. I guess this colonist here is relatively cheap, but it's still it's still pretty expensive. The other problem is Wendy here has a terribly low social skill, so unless I get a uh, a social trainer, she's really not able to make deals. She doesn't really understand the gift of gab. So that's another uh, constraint. And that the tribute 
just bailed on the map tile because it's too cold. <laughs> what am I supposed to be feeding you? Aren't I supposed to be feeding you per uh, perishable non-cannibal? I have those meals. I guess I've just need to deliver them, huh? Ship and tribute sink is very rare. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. If I was very wealthy, I would consider it. But there are things that I want to save up to buy for uh, that are going to be more crucial and important. Slaves can't do social. So, uh... They're, they're prohibited from, uh, from, from that kind of stuff as like part of the, the slaves. So they can, if you take their work priorities, she can't warden, which also is like a lot of the other social skills as a result of being a slave. They can't represent your community. They're not allowed. I did start a little late, so I'm going to go over by just a little to make up for my late start. All the twitch bugs of commands not working. So smithing's done. Uh, smithing and machining go hand in hand. So I'm going to get machining next. I don't have a lot of things to smelt down, so I'm not going to bother uh, getting a smelter just yet. I only have a little bit of slag available. And it steel is not that much of an issue. Yeah, slaves also can't do research. That's another one. Uh, they can't do art. They can't hunt. Uh, they can't make... Um, they can make certain drugs, but not all drugs or something. I forget exactly what their restriction on, on drug manufacturing is. I think it used to be that they couldn't make drugs and then it got patched, I think is the way it was, or is. Because obviously people wanted their, like, giant drug colonies. Are windmills still useful with the geothermal? It depends on how my power grid scales. One thing I will say is mech mechs that are controlled by a mechanator uh, tend to require a lot of power. So with that in mind, yeah, like maybe. Maybe it's worth it. Let's also get a sleep accelerator for Wendy and have Wendy try for a better bed so that I spend less time sleeping. Because she is the powerhouse of this colony, so getting her to work fast and be efficient is going to be ideal. This isn't going so well, though. There we go. There's an excellent one. That's good enough. I'm going to uninstall the old one just in case I need another. She, yeah, she's the mitochondria of this colony. Exactly. You get it. And I'm not worried about the sleep accelerator requiring me to have more food. Because that's the downside of a sleep accelerator, is it makes you hungry. But it's like, oh no, I'll just eat more people. Not a big deal, considering they show up at my door. Like, I'm, like they're Hansel and Gretel. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Her mood's a little sour. Just a little sour. I might need to shoot Sky in the face to make myself feel better because I murdered my brother. The um, the mod that I usually use to prevent um, prevent people from having families isn't updated, so I couldn't incorporate it to to stop uh, to stop Wendy here from having family members. Luckily, a beer and burning passion for her work is a pretty good mood fix. Looks like Kish, you need 
Yeah, if you're breaking stuff down, that means you need more construction tasks. So... I will get you some new ones. Slate is unfortunately not that tough of a material. Uh, for... Oops, for walls. But at least it's not flammable. That's all that really matters for me right now. And yes, I will bump the wall out to include the geothermal this time around. She's doing a good job hauling, and we're actually starting to get herbal meds from the farm. That was actually faster than I really thought it would take. That was pretty speedy. It's not bad. Yeah, stone toughness doesn't really matter for breachers, too. You're right. Because it's maybe a difference of, like, one attack. So it's, like, one hit or two hits, or rather, like, two or three hits, which is seconds. So the toughness of a wall isn't a big deal for breach and, and some sap attacks. Depends on how dumb your sappers are. Some sappers show up with like EMP grenades. Oh, speaking of which, prepare a while. Uh, all melee. Okay. Well, this door's open. Uh, this bridge is set up economically, but not uh, well in terms of uh, taking advantage of the deep water. If I wanted to do deep water, it would have been like... Oh man, I could have done it even cheaper here. It would have been like... Like, uh... Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Prepare for the raid. Machining is done. I'm gonna get for fertility procedures. And then, um, with machining done, let's get a machining table. I also want to get multi-analyzer, but I'm going to get fertility first so that I can start uh, embryo ripping. Tearing embryos out of women for the Wendigo project. I know, it's cruel, but hey, you were warned. That's what this series is about. Yeah, this will still work as for gunning down manhunters. Stand right here and you can fire at the manhunters all day long. Provided you have line of sight. I'll improve it more when I have a, um, a moisture pump. So, how is the hypothermia affecting you guys? Um, it's not particularly cold right now, so I don't, I don't think they're gonna be... I think they're gonna be a problem. They're not gonna, uh, self-die. So, eat your meal. And then... Robots go... Harduk is actually out of power. You farmed yourself to, to inactivity. That's brilliant. Where's Kish? Get inside. Oh, get inside. Here we go. No longer valid target. Sorry, no sleep. Now, they're all brawlers, but... Uh... Orange Chaos, I don't know if you could tank this. Well, I'm going to have you try. No, maybe I'll do a three-on-one. Except for that means Slow Wayne is going to be vulnerable. But I think that's going to yield better results. Where is Kish? Oh, you're going around? Okay, that's fine. Safe, technically. Is there a better weapon for me? I know I saw machine pistols, but that's marginal gains over a masterwork auto pistol. So, no, I don't think so. All right. Come on. Come feed me. Oh, and there's an impressive blueprint. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna accept this. It's, uh... It's, it's relatively inexpensive. And it's a good way to get some initial honor. What was the penalty for this getting hurt? Uh, opinion drop. Okay, so I should keep it safe-ish. Actually, I don't like that spot. Oh, man. Mood is gonna be glowing. And the food flowing. At this point, I'm purposely aiming for the one in back, because the one in front has so many health problems that they're less of a threat. And that way, we're basically maxing out combat effectiveness here. And now I'm fighting Camel. Same reason. Oh, I bet Vasalo. Oh no, you haven't run? Oh, because you're a different group. All right, Soul Lane, your right leg is shattered. Let me uh, sew that back on. And then Kish, your leg is gone too. For whatever reason, and this might be a bug, but if it's like a broken leg, you fix it like instantly. If it's like other damages, it takes a long time. But if it's like an actually missing limb, you're just like, insta magic. Like you just stuck it back in or something, I don't know. Like watching a medic fix a dislocated uh, limb. Hey, Zilla. We have g guests for dinner. Actually, let me try to get some more guests. Come here, little robots. Soul Lane is already hauling the dead. That's cute. Someone had an SMG, but he fled. I uh, I lost the ability to, to capture him. That opportunity is gone. Oh, you dummy. Don't stand on the bed spot. Hey, we're getting more! Right on. Don't do it, Sky. Don't do it. That's a good Sky. Well, uh, maybe one is female. I, I haven't checked, but if there is, uh, that's another reason to get fertility treatments. I think Kata, the one I'm holding, is maybe female, but they have to be of the right age. They have to be of uh, child-rearing age. All right, you want to practice on this five hour to death person? Oh, she's uh, yeah, I can I can egg rip her. She's seventeen. She's right age. Oh, great! She got back up. Stop punching me. Well, whatever. They're dead. Let's try it for someone else. Got what you deserve. This is 14 year old man. They're sending their uh, best and brightest at me, aren't they? So once all the bleeds are tended, good enough, extract the genes. It actually is useful for them to have bruises. It means that they won't fuss so much. So if that's the case, 
I'll put Doctor 4 so that we don't bother healing them, really. And then, prisoners. No food for now. I actually might feed the Neanderthal. But I'm not going to feed the, uh, the male. And I think that I'm going to go just long enough to do the first fertility procedure. So the priority here is going to be to get that research going. All right, there we go. New priority. So this monument... Oh, we... Weird. It's been hauled out, but not, like, placed. So it's just kind of waiting. Oh, shoot. I forgot to tell the robot not to build the roof. He is going to die from food. And Wally, you got an infection. I guess I'll tend you with herbal just to keep you alive. That's all you get. Alright, back on the research. Parduk, get harvesting. Man, I'm getting a lot of rice. I'm going to have to turn this rice into something else. Like, just a lot of lavish meals, maybe? I'm probably, at this point, uh, given the corpses that I have, lavish cannibalism might be in the cards. I wish I could tell it not to count uh, insect meat, because it's still counting insect meat. The other thing that I have opportunity to do is I can make a mech commander helmet. I have just enough plasteel for that. Uh, and that would allow me to control more mechs. So I'll get one of those. And that uses the signal chip I have. So the signal chip I got off of the Diabolus can make um, a bunch of different things. But I'm going to pick mech commander helmet because it's um, it actually provides protection. So you have the mech commander helmet that provides protection and costs plasteel and components. And then you have the uh, array headset, which is just steel and components. It adds, uh, this adds six mech bandwidth, and this also adds six, but one has actual protections. And then the other, kind of like a uh, gun link, does not. So for protective reasons, I'm going to make the mech commander so that I can't get plinked in the skull. Because, you know... Protect your brain stem. It's kind of an important thing to do. I could make pemmican. Yeah, I could make uh, uh, pemmican, I suppose. I don't think I'm going to, though. I think what I'll do is make... Uh, put a batch of cotton cloth for fabrics, for recreation purposes. Another thing I need to do is to update the home zoning, I just realized. So there's the mech commander helmet. And we stuck it on, and now I have three extra bandwidth. Which gives me the opportunity to add more mechs. Uh, probably a clean bot and a pikeman or a lancer, but uh, that's not going to be this stream. That'll be a different, that'll be next stream. We pulled out Strong Immunity and Heavy Brow out of uh, the Neander Girl. Neander Boy, you're next. How's your infection? Can tend now. Let me tend that. 
You don't want to eat that meal. Eh, whatever, it's too late. <laughs> ate raw meat! Yeah, ate human meat. Yeah, you stole my meal out from under me. That's what you get, you dummy. It's not my fault. It was your choice. Genius. I was gonna feed you, but nope. You had to be impatient. Gold ore! Hey, I bought gold and whoa! That is a lot of gold! That is a lot of gold. I'm probably not going to mine that just yet, because that would increase my colony value, like a dangerous amount, but holy cow. That is a golden opportunity. And you are a baseliner who's dead in eight hours. I'm just going to leave you there. The hall, the hall bot will pull your corpse in. That run is not worth me doing. Yeah, mine a little bit at a time for uh, for advanced components once I have advanced fab. That would be my... That would be... Probably my opinion there. Oh, I also got... Oh, well, steel landing on steel? I wonder if that destroyed steel to make steel. So I'm just racing ahead trying to get the fertility treatments. Tech so that I can start operating on them. I suppose if I'm operating on them, I should uh, put a light in there, not just the heater. So fertility treatments is already about halfway done. Zill, I'm gonna have you clean again so that research can go faster because there's a little bit of blood in the base and uh, we can do better. Luckily, it's such a giant room that it's pretty self-regulating in terms of filth. It's very difficult for this massive room to get dirty because of its size. Right, it's like clean now, so there's not even a penalty. I think it's only dirty because of the uh, stone cutter table, to be honest. You know, I could actually... Zilla, I'm gonna move the stone cutter table into your bedroom. I mean, it is your workplace, so... Get your bedroom shrunk. Oh, no, there's one other thing that is a dirty work facility in here. Or maybe there's filth that I don't see. But whatever, point, negative point zero one is not going to change research rate. So it works for me. So with fertility procedures, this is one of the major milestones towards the Wendigo project. If Sky would stop wandering on to where I need to be. So now, we can go to um, childbearing women-aged colonists and extract their ovum so that we can fertilize it for science. So here is her egg. And then if I had, for instance, a male... Um, a male waster? So are you too old? No, I can extract your ovum too. Oh, perfect. We're about to get a genetic experiment in a second. So what I need to do is temporarily enslave Wally to force Wally to inseminate Sky's egg. To breed a hybrid. So if we take a look, the hybrid could inherit any mixture of these two genes. 
It's random. So the egg of Vasalo is going to be pretty worthless to me, because a Neanderthal plus a Neanderthal is still a Neanderthal. And um, that's going to have forbidden genes to not allow that individual to ever be a colonist. But a Neanderthal plus a waster might actually yield a new uh, species that would be useful to me. So that is the TLDR there. But I think, I think the first hybrid is going to have to wait until next stream because I am out of time. Thank you for watching RimWorld Biotech, the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch October 27th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that made it all the way to the credits and support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow mad scientists. <laughs>